you describe Mark, uh, I'm picturing a Grateful Dead guitar player and a pretty... Mark's leader. like the calmest person. Um, and, and did you notice uh, a change in Mark's behavior or... Yes, definitely. Personality? Can you tell the jury yeah. about that? Well, I mean, he would get really angry when he would find these comments, you know, that here they were saying that Daniel was, I mean, there were different things. Daniel was never, never existed. Our son James was Daniel. And we're trying to, you know, pretend that we had a loss. Or, or some people would write about um, that, that we killed Daniel. I mean, it was crazy stuff that they were posting. Um, and Mark would just get really angry, and you know, he he started becoming like, you know, we moved to to, to Connecticut. We wanted to get out of the city. We used to like leave our windows open. That stopped. It was like the windows were down at night, especially. He would he would put the blinds. He would close the the curtains. He was always afraid somebody was going to be looking in the house. Um, you know, when we would go shopping, he would, you know, be scanning and looking around to see if anybody looked at him in a weird way. You know, I, I used to, you know, we used to kind of, I mean, not get into a fight, but I'd say, like, we need to go and buy this. Like, you're preoccupied. He would become preoccupied with worrying about who's around him. Was this like him, or was this something that no, you observed before? No, no. He was, like you said, a Grateful Dead, peace, love. I mean, he, he's very protective of his family. I mean, very protective. So I felt, I think he felt like he had to protect us, and he was always, especially if he was with James and, and Natalie, like, Natalie would even know because she would say like, oh, I don't want to go to the store or I don't want to do this because she was afraid that he might be, she could, she could tell the difference in him too. So the kids, start, or at least Natalie, you say, started to notice a difference in... in I think so. I definitely think that, that he was, he's hypervigilant. He's always just very aware of his surroundings. Just the other day we were driving into our neighborhood and there was a car in front of us and he slows down because he wants to see where the car is going if they're going to slow down by our house you know he he slowed down they passed our house and then it was fine but he's a he was aware of that car did did you and uh mark uh get threatening letters or, or letters that gave you concern for your safety yeah, there were letters. Again, he didn't show me a lot of stuff, so I'm not sure exactly. Um, but there, there were letters. Do you know that, whether? And Mark's going to testify. He's he's going to he was the last plaintiff to testify this afternoon, uh, and in the case. Uh, but he's going to testify. But uh, to your understanding, did Mark was Mark engaged in, in law enforcement uh, in relationship to threats he was getting online? Or, do you, or did I, he keep that from you? No, I mean, I I know that he did show me one letter, and he talked about, um, and he showed me maybe two, I'm not sure. One, one. I remember one saying that they were at Daniel's grave, and they had peed on his grave because they didn't think anybody, you know, they didn't believe that Daniel was buried. And another letter. These letters letter, came to your home? What's that? These letters came to your yeah. home. And then another letter was that they were going to, they were going to dig Daniel's grave up because he wasn't there to prove it. So those were two that I know. Um, I don't know other stuff. I know my sister has gone to Daniel's grave and she will has, has pulled up and people okay, will... Okay. Well, okay. About nine years ago. Oh. Anyway, you can continue, Jackie. Can continue. She, she has pulled up and people will leave his grave and she'll say, you know, she she had a bad feeling. She she would share with us that she had. It was an uncomfortable situation. And um, did you and uh, Mark take steps to protect the children from 
being becoming aware of these threatening letters and other hostile. We we really tried to not share any of that with them. Okay. Um, um, we. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say we we tried to make our household as happy and light mm -hmm. as possible. They had just lost their brother, and we and you know we really tried to hold it together. I, I remember saying, like, they have to have a happy childhood. We had worked so hard at that, and, and we didn't want that to be taken from them. So we really kind of protected them from a lot of stuff. 